in today's video. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Showcasing um, this uh, red head roach, also uh, scientifically named as a Oxyhaloa deusta. So this is my original colony and the reason why I'm saying original is because I have another one. I just received a batch of uh, the 30 or 40 uh, roaches from the same species because my colony as you can see is extremely small. Originally I got 30 but they turned all to be males except two females so I think the seller did this on purpose. This female was the only one that survived and she actually laid some nymphs which you can see here. The other ones are in this uh, bark with some holes in which they like to hide themselves in. Actually there's one there running around. I think this species is quite uh, interesting. All stages, nymphs and, and all adults can climb. And I wish I had more. So that's why I didn't want to wait for this small batch of uh, roaches to develop. So I went online and got myself um, another batch. And here they are. So I'll make these, mix these together. This uh, this group seems much more uniform, with a ton of females and also, of course, many other males. And seems that in the transit, one of the females uh, gave live birth. Another interesting aspect of this uh, uh, roach species. I don't know if you're able to see properly their coloration so um, I will introduce them all now into their new enclosure let me show that it to you how I set it up so here we have a good amount of substrate around two or three centimeters some cork cork bark which they can hide under and probably in it some of the nymphs might like also to hide in it some dried leaf leaf litter and yeah now it's just time to introduce the colony and mix them together I'll show you the final result so here they are Trying to escape. And one did already escape. Let me try to catch it again. So here they are. Cleaning themselves up because the container where I was keeping them temporarily had some baby powder. I will give them a rinse soon to help them clean themselves properly. Uh, this barrier is harmless, so that's why I like to use it. So, yeah, I think they will do fine here. And on top of this, I will use a screen mesh and the lid, because like I said, all, all um, stages can easily climb and the temperature in my in which i will keep them uh, of my bug room right now is between 27 and 29 celsius and i will feed them um, the usual fruits bananas oranges um, apples some dry food dog dry food and some fish flakes and hopefully they will continue to breed. I see that many of the females are actually gravid, like that one over there. 
Uh, these also look extremely plump. So I hope they will lay more, they will have more babies soon and help my colony grow even larger. Let's see how they adjust. I'll give them a shower now, I'll cover it up and this will be it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this species. Sorry about this, but I keep, I keep have to keep track of them all while doing the recording because they like to escape. I like their their looks. Redhead roach. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. See you in another video. Bye-bye.